do it, we do a, a five ish one on one study. You know, if you like to have a we'll demonstrate our study session with you, I'd be glad to. We can go, we can go set it aside. I can demonstrate it to you. But so that's what it takes to get you to preach the gospel to somebody that needs the gospel. See, that's what I'm saying. He know he and that's the protocol, brother. I'm just all, all right, so I'm quit picking at you. That's 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 not preaching the gospel, okay? That's going to protocol to your organization, which is JW.org, all right? I mean, you should be the scripture said be ready always, okay? To give an answer to every man that has it. Not not let's make a meeting and a schedule, okay? That's not how it go when you're working in the spirit, all right? So, um, what, what's you your name? If you really want to talk, we can, we can do it without the camera and so forth. Well, see, without the camera. But that, again, you can't be ashamed of the gospel and to have it on record or in public or not. I think that. that's your opinion, though. Well, what does the scripture say? That's true. We can sit down and talk about the scripture, but not in this format. This isn't loving. For us, that Jesus wouldn't do it. Would Jesus do it this way? What, what way is that? I, if you I'm can't preach, gonna... why won't you preach the gospel to me? You don't know who. Your gospel could get to everybody that I know. Well, does that make sense? Well, we're doing a fine job, I think. I think our, our message would be very clear. See? I don't know. You think the Lord will be, uh, what's your name? I don't know my name, so. <laughs> He's supposed to be a Jehovah Witness, but he's afraid to give his name. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. All right. All right, well, I thought they, normally they go to the book of Daniel. He don't even want to give me his name. That's a, he's ashamed, man, of his gospel. He's ashamed of his gospel. I'm not ashamed. I think that's your issue. You must be, man. You have your audience, you enjoy it. No, 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 no. Heaven is all of our audience, sir. Heaven is our audience. Heaven and earth is a witness. That's no argument. You ain't got no argument on that. All right then, so they know what we're going to do in secret, they know what we're going to do in public. You have a good day. They going to know what we're doing. Yeah, I'm having a great day, man. I'm having a great day plucking up. I'm having a great day plucking up and destroying false prophets, man. Uh, oh, I'm bothering you now? You, no, you're bothering me because you're standing out here in the name of the Lord Jehovah, okay? And uh, you're, you're blaspheming his covenants and his promises. So I'm going to do what he told me to do, which is to rebuke you, man. All right. No, no, no. It's going to, yeah, it will. It sure will. And in the latter time of the kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark senses shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper in practice, <laughs> and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. All right. That's that Roman Catholic doctrine, doctrine right there, just another spin off of it. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. His policy. Dot orgism, all right? Nonprofit organization. That's his policy. All right? And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And the vision of the evening and the morning, which was told, is true. Wherefore shut up, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. We are in the days now, y'all, okay? These false prophets have risen right now, these antichrists. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days. Afterward, I rose up and did the king's business, and I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. All right? Yeah, so anyway, these false prophets, uh, you know, they just like that. They way back there stuck without understanding the vision, but, you know, Praise the Most High. Daniel was supposed to understand it at the time, but it was, look, these false prophets got them packing up. That's what we're here to do, to pluck up, man, and to root out, all right? Every tree that my father had not planted shall be plucked up and burned, man, straight up. Shame, he ashamed of his gospel. Don't want to give his name. Don't want to preach his gospel. Cut him with one scripture. He couldn't deal with it. He couldn't, yeah, he said, uh, be ready always. I have no argument with you there. Well, that means you, you're in sin then. You're breaking that commandment. Why? Because you're down with some dot org, which is none for profit. You know what I'm saying? Unprofitable, not for profit organization. Cashy the unprofitable servant and out of darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right? Straight up. Yeah, that's right. So, praise the Most High. Uh, I, you know, curse be he that keeps back his swore from blood, all right? 
you know, them people always easy work, but we gotta keep cutting them. Everybody that come out here on these streets, it ain't nothing but a fatty cow for us when they coming in the name of the Most High, man. That's all it is to it, all right? Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the work right there. Daniel, that's that work Daniel spoke of right there. But see, Daniel, uh, man, we we're in some wicked times. Daniel couldn't imagine it being like this, where the children of Israel don't even know who they are, because Esau and uh, Gomer then got together, and uh, you know, sold us off in the slavery, and the um, Islamic and the transatlantic slave trades and scattered us and broke us man okay and then <laughs> then the serpent people hijacked you know what i'm saying the scriptures You're trying to hide the <laughs> they hijacked the scriptures the land the name calling themselves jews everything man all right Ashkenaz and them so you know this was that apostate generation that nobody nobody could understand but like enoch and them you know what i'm saying you know Enoch, man, he understood it. You know, it's a lot in there, though. Daniel had great understanding for his time and his day. He was amongst the greatest to understand, just like Joseph. But it was something that understood way greater things than that. You know. But anyway, praise the Most High for all our brothers, the prophets. And, you know, and that's it. I mean, bless them, the slain and those that remain. Amen. Because you know, it's the word of the prophets from the Most High that has sustained his, his heritage, man, when they would have uh, eradicated it, man. So bless you, Most High. Bless you, Yahweh Shah, Adonai, Hamashiach. Amen. Shalom.